Hey, this is Eamon. I've got a really quick video today about how you can get more reviews for your painting business. First, I'm going to talk about the importance of getting reviews and why you should even do this. The first thing you should know is that 79% of all online reviews in 2023 were on Google. Okay, so if all the review platforms you should focus on, you'd focus mostly on Google. Now, you can get reviews on Facebook and on Yelp and things like that, but mostly Google is where people are going to be going. 90% of home service business reviews were Google reviews. And I got that stat from that article if you want to take a look at it. 42% uh, of local searches involve clicks on the Google Map Pack. Now, the Google Map Pack is this thing down here. When somebody makes a search, then they see this. So this is the Map Pack. So 42% of um, clicks were here. And people are going to choose the company they're going to go with based on the number of reviews. Okay. And the thing is, it's not always number of reviews. I spoke about this in my previous video. It can also have to, have to do with the recency of the reviews. So as you can see, this company that has 38 reviews shows up higher than the company with 260. Now that could do, have to do with a lot of things like the recency of the reviews. Maybe this one has pretty old reviews. It can also have to do with the location the person is searching from. So there's a lot of factors that go into it, but the number of reviews is definitely a big one. That's what we're focusing on in this video. So just some more stats. 87% of customers read online reviews for local businesses. 73% of consumers pay attention to reviews written only in the last month. So this is important, that thing I said about the recency. You want to make sure that you're constantly getting new reviews, not just getting a certain number and then t taking your foot off the gas. Only 48% of consumers would consider using a business with fewer than four stars, and that's a source for those. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that the importance of reviews has increased over the years, both for consumers, because they have so much choice, okay, they go online and there's so many companies, you know, trying to earn their business, trying to get their attention. And they can't tell from the outside, you know, just how much better your company is than the competitors. So they use these things that are on the outside to, you know, to decide who to go with. And a big part of that is reviews. The last reason you really want to focus on reviews is it's an asset that lives forever. Your Google business profile, unless it gets banned for some reason. So I spoke of this in my last video, it builds enterprise value. So if you want to sell your company in the future, Having something like this, like a Google business profile with a lot of reviews, you know, hundreds of reviews that brings you leads and customers every week without you having to do anything, you know, because obviously the, the Google business profile is free. It's an incredible asset for you to have, and it really doesn't take much for you to get it going. Depending on your competition, you just need to get like 20, 30, 40 reviews, and you, you could be showing up in the top three. And now I'm going to show you how to actually get the reviews from people. Now, the single best ways to actually get reviews is to ask before you complete the job. Okay. So right before you complete the job, just say to some, say to the homeowner, you know, we'd really appreciate if you leave us a review and you don't need to ask for a five star rating. Just tell them why you want it. Just tell them it really helps the business and it would mean a lot to you and your team. You know, just tell them to be honest about their experience with you. No need to push for five stars. And um, just to make it easier on them, you can offer to text them a link to make it easier. So I'm going to leave this link in the description. Basically, you can go into your Google business profile and get this link that you can text to people. And when they click on it, it opens up like this. So they can easily just um, give you a review. They don't have to do much work on their end. You're basically doing all of it for them. Um, so this is the single best way is to ask in person before you complete the job. The second best method is if you're using some sort of CRM or reputation management software, what you can do is you can load up your list. You have people's names, emails, and phone numbers, people they actually completed jobs for, and you can get in touch with them and ask them to leave a review. You can basically just text them this link and tell them you would really appreciate it. Or, you know, we didn't get around to it, you know, whatever is appropriate. That's the second best way though. The single best way, like I said, is to ask them in person while you're still on the job site. And uh, again, just you can text them the review link, just makes it much easier. And here's actually, a, there was actually a study I found that found that ratings of 4.2 to 4.5 are the most trusted. I'll leave this link as well if you're interested in looking into that. And I found this meme that confirms the study. And yeah, that's the way it works. The meme confirms the study. So it's not actually a vague feeling because you might have this too, you know, you look at a business that has five stars from 19 reviews, one that has 4.6 stars from 2,280 reviews, this is immediately going to be more trustworthy to you, even though it's got a lower rating. So to sum up, 
try to get a review out of every single job that you complete and ask before you complete the job. Otherwise, if you want to get a review out of your previous customers, you can take the list and like I spoke about in my getting jobs out of your customer list, instead of asking them for referrals, you can just ask them for a review, you know, and again, just explain to them why you want it. They, you know, it doesn't take much out of their day, especially if you send them the link, it just makes it that much easier for them. All right, that's everything I've got for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. But other than that, thanks for your time.